always try to build on what you did the year before, things to improve on. What, what's been your focus? To um, just kind of relate to like, kind of like last off season really wasn't, uh, really a lot of stuff was going on and not put myself in the position that I was last year for is not really working hard. But uh, the main focus this year is just to get back to, you know, um, the summer of what I did in 2021, 20, not, not even the season, just yet alone the summer of getting back to the groove of things and getting back in the routine. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of distra a distraction for sure. Just ask Kyle about Danny Gray, his progress. What, what are you seeing from him this, this uh, spring? Um, just kind of relating from last year. Uh, as as any rookie, uh, any wideout in this in this offense is you know that is asked to play coming in. It's pretty hard. Um, it's a lot of things going on. It's a lot of things thrown at you at once. Because I mean, we drafted him in the third round, so we expect him to play. So it was a lot of pressure on. But uh, just seeing him these past couple of weeks, you can tell that he's learned a lot. Um, he still have mental mistakes here and there, but uh, he's done a good job of minimizing those and um, putting himself in a position to play. Uh, yeah, um, being in shape for Danny is not one thing, but uh, his mentality and the way he's approaching practice has been amazing to me. Can you take him under your wing and offer him any advice after what you've been through with Kyle? Um, kind of like last year, just explaining to them how Kyle operates and um, what it takes to be on the field and what it takes to be a receiver in his offense. It's not all about catching the ball and running. Um, you got to stick your nose in there. You got to put your big boy pants on and just be ready to do whatever Kyle asks you to do. Was said and done last year. How, would, how did you would you assess your season last year? Oh, it was awful. It was awful. awful. Yeah. In what way? Every aspect. Do you, do you, do you, do you consider that a little bit? Like what I just said, every aspect, but. Uh, did that leave a, a bitter taste in your mouth? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, me and Kyle had a long meeting the other day. We watched tape. Um, we talked about it. We put it behind us. And um, just going through the tape and just look how sluggish and, like, how bad it looked on tape. Um, like I said, uh, just reflecting on last offseason, it kind of played a big role in that. And I never put nothing like that back on tape again. Did you, did you feel it as the season was going on, or was it not until you went back and watched it? <laughs> Uh, I was kind of behind the eight ball a little bit um, for us, you know, uh, being in my routine that I normally be in for us the off season, getting ready to play because, like I said, uh, a lot of distractions was going on. But, um, yeah, I kind of felt it, but I was just, you know, uh, trying to will my way to help the team in every aspect possible. Does it affect what your goals are for this season? Oh, not at all. Can you talk about how Kyle operates? How does he operate? How long did it take you to kind of navigate? <laughs> uh, go back to my rookie year. It took me a whole year. Um, just to see, you know, his standard of the receiver room. Uh, I feel like we get coached harder than anybody on the team when it comes to Kyle aspect of how detailed and, you know, um, how detailed in the run game he is. He's not more so worried about you catching the run. He's like, what are the things you're going to do when you're not getting the ball? And um, he get real upset and angry when, you know what I'm saying, uh, you miss a block or uh, anything like little details that you'll never know about. Obviously not hugely important established veterans to be out there during this time, you know, on the field running plays and stuff. Are you happy with where you are physically right now as far as heading into training camp? Are you going to be, you know, ready to go? I'm going to be more than ready to go first day. You know, when you were training camp last year, you said you started behind the eight ball. I mean, did you feel out of shape? Yeah, for sure. Like, like gas during practices? Like I mean, it shows on tape. Off. Been watching practice the last days. Man, you can't cover that boy in a phone booth right now. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen him do the last year, year or two? That I mean, um, just me personally, like seeing Brandon from a rookie till now, like he's got better day in, day out. Every season he's got better. And just like I, I'm seeing flashes of like stuff that I ain't seen him do, like how fast he is now, how explosive he is, and you know, the separation that he getting in, in and out of routes. So, um, you can tell he's really detailed this offseason, ready to go. Diva, there's very few receivers that step out of college and produce right away. Why is that? Is it is the game, pro game that much more complex than the college game? 
I mean, you ask me, it's, I mean, people have been in this league for a long time, just like you was in college for four years. And as, as you be a senior, you kind of feel like you got a head start of, it, of, of everybody. But this league, like, it, it moves so fast. Things happen so fast. It's a lot of knowledge. It's a lot of things that you got to take in consideration. It's going out there, especially, like, in this offense, there's so much knowledge. And, like, you breaking the huddle and still thinking. And it's like, all right, said hut. And it's just stuff, like, flying all over the place. It, it kind of takes time for the game to slow down for you. Last year, do you go into this season almost like competing with guys like Brandon, who you said you know, can't cover him in a phone booth, and Christian and Kittle for touches and things? Like nah, that? Um, I'm my own competitor. Pardon? I'm competing with myself. What are your goals for this season? I'm not a guy that set goals. I just go out there and let things happen.